I'm reading Daniel McGowan's book, Constructive Awareness, and uh, he's great here talking about Hatha Yoga, that uh, many Westerners take it up in midlife. You now, traditional Eastern yoga is not suited to Western people to take out the practice in later life. But an easier, modified version of it is much more desirable. Many of the traditional yoga poses, asanas, are simply too difficult, hold too many potential dangers. Taking out the practice in later life does not mean middle and old age only. It applies to people in their 20s, even their teens, who have developed harmful, habitual misuse of themselves. I'm often asked in yoga about similarities between yoga and Alexander Technique. And, and uh, frankly, I see more differences than similarities. In fact, I see almost no similarities between Alexander Technique and, and yoga. Uh, the yoga that I've been exposed to is primarily about doing. You do meditations, you do breath manipulation, and you do things with your body. Alexander Technique is primarily about non-doing and undoing habitual habits that are not serving you. I find that uh, yoga is a lot about breath manipulation, which in yoga we call conscious breathing. Uh, there's breath of fire and uh, breathing with just one nostril and breathing deeply, holding your breath. There's all sorts of breath manipulation. The Alexander technique that I've studied is opposed to breath manipulation. It's about unconscious breathing, breathing naturally with a neck free from tension, the head moving forward and up away from the body, the back lengthening and widening so the lungs have more room to expand. You just breathe naturally. So McGowan has a great chapter on breath and breathing and and uh, yoga breathing exercises that uh, he, he says should be viewed with caution. Some are dangerous because of the ridiculous extremes they go to. Some yogis, for example, have burst blood vessels in their lungs because of holding their breath too long. So he looks at the conscious and the subconscious acts of breathing. One of the results of poor use and poor breathing is the shortening in the length of the back. It causes the rib cage to sag and become narrower. That restricts the flow of breath, not to mention constricting the heart.